Hi, this is Frank with a Frank Opinion. In part one of my series, Who Are We? I stated that Trump's unfeeling and cruel family separation and internment policies made possible by our country's persistent racism are grounds for impeachment under high crimes and misdemeanors and that the Democratic Party has an opportunity through his impeachment to force Americans to decide who we are. Four years ago, after the racially motivated murder of nine African-American congregants at the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. I was moved to write a letter offering a nine-point plan to eradicate racism in our country. My years in public service had convinced me that only a plan of action with goals, a timetable, and methods for evaluating results was needed. Marches and demonstrations and expressions of outrage and grief would never be enough. I initially sent the letter to Congressman John Lewis. Receiving no reply or acknowledgement of receipt, I then sent the letter individually addressed to all the members of the Congressional Black Caucus. Again, no reply or acknowledgement of receipt. In my letter, I stated that the plan I was offering was neither perfect or complete. But I viewed then, as I do now, that the first two elements are essential. The first, that eradicating racism in our country be set forth as a national goal, enunciated unequivocally by a future president. The second element would necessitate that religious leaders of all faiths, representing all denominations and all of our nation's regions, denounce racism as antithetical to their religious creeds and vow to provide their personal leadership to achieving this national goal, even at the risk of losing a number of their followers. Our country has many religions, but it is predominantly American Christianity that must confront its heretical drift from the teachings and example of Jesus Christ. This drift which has caused pain, suffering, and the deaths of so many non-white peoples, even those that are fellow Christian, is powerfully described in Jamar Tisby's book, The Color of Compromise, The Truth of the American Church's Complicity in Racism. I have a wish. I wish that I could see Franklin Graham, Joel Olstein, Reverend William Barber, Reverend Jesse Jackson, the Reverend Luis Cortez Jr., the, Re the Pastor Sam Rodriguez, and other Christian leaders march arm in arm in Christian solidarity to denounce the President's policies and actions with respect to asylum seekers from south of our border as being antithetical to the teachings and example of Jesus Christ and to remind all American Christians of the words of their Lord in Matthew 25, lines 42 to 46. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick or in prison, and did not help you? He will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Simply put,